On this episode, I'm going to be talking about how a woman should act when she's being proposed to because there definitely is a right way and a wrong way. Let's jump right in. Number one, act surprised, even if you're not. Just do it. Your boyfriend has put in a lot of work and effort into figuring out the best way to propose to you, so you should just appreciate that. You don't want to be this girl. Oh my god, babe, so we're taking a trip somewhere? What should I pack? We're taking a trip? Where? Paris? Monaco? Sydney? Okay, what should I pack? Heels, my cutest dress that I own, or did you buy me something? What is that bulge in your pocket? No, not your wallet. It's, it's almost like, you know, half a sphere on a flat surface only this big. What is that? Number two, be content and don't compare. Yes, we're all sucker for sweet home Alabama type setups where she gets dragged into the Tiffany's late at night and you know, he gets on one knee and says, pick one. Yeah, that's amazing, but not everyone gets that. Your boyfriend put a lot of thought into the private intimate candlelight dinner or whatever he decided to do, so be happy. When your boyfriend gets down on one knee or even if he doesn't get down on one knee and he starts professing his love to you, do not do this. Where's my flash mob? Are, are you in my flash mob? So he didn't teach you the choreo yet? Going to the movies? That's awesome. Do you think that we should go there early so that we catch the credits? Just in case there's, you know, this lanky Indian guy who's been dating me for the past three years, uh, wants me to see the credits so that he can do a whole slideshow of my life and then it ends with, will you marry me, love is forever, you know, like the whole Yashraj kind of thing. Is that gonna happen? Number three, now this is after the proposal. I recommend that both of you take a video journal entry of yourselves in that moment. Even if your boyfriend and now fiance, ah, best French word ever, had arranged a photographer for you, um, it's way more intimate if you guys take a moment by yourselves, don't have the friend in the photography class, just be a creeper in that moment and like a selfie, just just like this, like a selfie. Here we go. This is my Android, it's, it's amazing. Um, just look at the camera and talk about how you're feeling because that's something that's cemented in time. You can watch this video over and over again. My husband and I do that, we're super cheesy and I love how I had just finished crying. I love just living in that moment all over again and so you get to do that with video. Number four. Now it's time to call your family. Call your parents and his parents and your siblings and your cousins, um, if you're close to them, like pick your favorite and have that be it because then you can be on the phone for two, three, four hours and you just got engaged. You want to celebrate that. Do not put that stuff on Facebook yet because that's just crazy. This is your day and don't share it with the world unless you like having people in your business all the time and have a YouTube channel or something. So do not let this be you. Hi, mommy. Yeah, you just did it. Did you? So you knew because he had to ask you permission? Oh my god, mommy, I am so happy. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll call Sushmanti. Yeah. Okay, then I'll call Vikas. Okay. Okay, then, then, then I have to go to the Mandir? Today? Okay, alright, so I'll just, I'll call everyone. Alright. Awesome. Yeah, I'm engaged. The guy Hoge, yay. <laughs> Number five. Be appreciative with whatever ring you get. Do not do this. Oh, babe, I'm so happy. Thank you. Is this like half a carrot? Did you not learn the four C's? Why did you call my sister? I need a microscope. And number six, do something sweet and romantic for your fiance in return. He just proposed to you and promised to take care of you and live with your crazy ass forever. Yeah, 
I feel sorry for him too. You can cook a meal if you know what his favorite food is, or if he has something that he wants to buy, like you know, a watch or new sunglasses. I mean, just ask him, you know, is there something that you've been looking to buy? Because you know how guys are, they only shop like once a year, unless they're really metro, and then they're probably shopping more than you. So that's how you should behave when you're going to get proposed to. Now, don't show him this video, or I mean, Shit, I could use the views. You can show him this video, but it just makes you look a little needy. Because now you just outed yourself. You're like, babe, look at this really funny um, Indian girl talking about getting proposed to. Yeah, I wish I knew what that felt like. Have fun dating. The proposal will come. Bye, guys.